it's been such an incredible experience. The male just stood up and dragged the carcass, and he dragged the carcass and the cubs with him in an incredible display of strength. And I don't think he's going to be finished. There's also was a huge fight between Tinio and one of the cubs. He wanted to drag the carcass. The carcass, the, the cub didn't want to let go, and there was swatting and carrying on, and it was all quite sort of ferocious. And I don't think we've seen the end of this situation. But the nice thing is that we can see that all six cubs are here. So there's three in the front, and then three at the back. And you can see the fourth one just coming forward and look at how that one cub is watching Tinio. he was the one that got a little bit of a smack from Tinio, and so now it's just playing sort of possum and pretending like it's not going to do anything but it's sneaking forward to try get to that nice thick leg meat that is still on the carcass itself so very clever little lion but I think there's going to be a few explosive moments with this carcass because it's starting to get less and less now So, Ali, you want to know where is the tiny little baby lion cub? Look at these cubs creeping in. You see them? They're so cheeky. They sit on the edge and they pretend like they don't want to feed. But look, it's on its basically crawling towards the carcass. And then it knows, okay, I can't get too close to where dad is because otherwise he's going to shout at me. So it just crawls closely. Now, Ali, sorry, I got a bit distracted because that was quite cute. But the little cub, it doesn't feed on meat yet. It's still too young to eat meat. And so it's eating, it's drinking milk and therefore it stays in a den it's not going to join the pride to hunt or anything like that it's going to stay in a den and try and stay safe there and what will happen is the mother will have maybe been here already fed and now goes back to that cub and goes and transfers the nutrients from the carcass via its milk into the, the cub itself and so she'll go suckle the cub and only after about three months um, will that cub then start being led to the pride where it will start to be introduced to meat and even then for the first sort of month or two that cub will be taken to and from carcasses it won't actually travel with the pride itself once they reach about five six months that's when they are then moving with the pride and with the mother and we'll see them at the carcass more and more often so at this stage, it's just that it's too small and it doesn't feed off meat yet. It can't process the meat and so it needs to spend time in a den away where it's nice and safe. So James, you're wondering if these cubs are being well behaved because Tinio is present. Well, uh, well behaved is, is a bit of a sort of questionable, aren't, well, summary because just now they were being naughty they were all crowding behind Tinio and around him and then he got upset and he sorted them all out and now they sort of like naughty children who have been shouted at have now gone to the one side of the carcass as you can see there and are feeding and keeping their heads down and showing quite submissive behavior because Tinio had to just quickly crack the whip and say right enough of this nonsense and so that's why they're being well behaved now is because they've just been disciplined but they also know that they won't feed on his side of the carcass because he's going to get far too aggressive with them so they've worked out that if they're on one side and he can be on the other side then everything is fine but as soon as they try and cross over that boundary onto his side he gets upset and then we'll find a situation where he'll try and chase them away but you can see they've absolutely stripped this carcass you would think a zebra would last a long period of time but as you can see there that zebra is completely gone and this is not a small zebra i mean it, i thought it might be a baby zebra that was lost but this is a fairly large zebra i would say it's a sub-adult not an adult itself and you can see there is very little left there so Arlaramo, you were wondering whether this was an adult or not and like I say I think it's a sub-adult it's not a fully grown big individual but it's definitely a sub-adult and I think maybe that's why that other female was calling is that it's her offspring but from quite a while ago and that's why we're finding that she's so panicked about where sort of this zebra is and, and what's happened to it but if we look at the, the cubs they're busy feeding on the right side of there and you can actually see there is a yellow fat content there so that is deep deep yellow in color now very few animals have that deep rich yellow fat that fat is highly 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 nutritious in fact it's one of the most nutritious um, parts of any animal that we have out here and that's why zebra are one of those species that lions would love to eat because that fat content is so full of nutrients and this is going to be a really good meal for this pride they are going to be in a lot better shape after this as you can see by that little cub that's got a big fat belly that is full of blood that's just rolled up there we go you see them fighting so as this meat gets this we're going to see more and more of that right well we're going to carry on enjoying our Inkahuma pride Ali apparently is playing hide and seek with a rather large animal. <laughs> 